What's up gamers, GF Ditto here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spectrobes. In the last one, I had stated that I was going to dig up an Upsilon cube so that we'd have access to the card input device, and I did exactly that. So let's go uh, give that to Aldus, so that the uh, lower floor is closer to complete. <clears throat> you found an Alpha cube. Alpha? I thought we already had that. It appears to be inscribed with data about awakening the spectrobes. The trick to awakening spectrobes is using the right voice level for the fossil you're trying to awaken. If a line with an arrow appears in the voice gauge, your voice must make the meter cross that line. If a bracket appears in the voice gauge, your voice must make the meter stay within the bracket. As you can see, spectrobes are complicated and unique creatures. Well, yeah, we knew that. All of that. Excellent effort, Roland. You found an Upsilon cube. Hey, good news. This is a very unique cube. This one will enable the card input system. This should aid our quest. Alright. Okay, setup is complete. The card input system is now functional. Is it though? Let's find out. Just to access the new machine over there, it'll set up to handle card input system functions. Alright, so I do have a card on hand. Let's see if I can make this... If, if this will work for me. Alright, what'd I get? This one was the Grilldragos Draft Fly. Now, that's the one I wanted most, seeing as uh, it's Grilldragos. Uh, it's level 48 already, so it'd be a nice addition to the party, potentially. Um, good looking stats as well. And that'll give us an Inca Flare Augur. Now, Inca Flare would have come in a lot of handy in that last uh, boss battle against Trunkos. But this is a really, really nice Spectrobe to have, and it does come with the Augur um, custom part. I have trouble reading the numbers on these cards to know what order they go in. So that's an Albasar Apex. That, look at that. Oh, it's... I should have had these on the, uh... I should have had these on the big screen for you. There's the Inca Flare. Do I want to get rid of the Spectrum? No, I'm, I'm just showing it off. And it shoots all the fire in its body out in one big flame. We have... The... Albasar, which I, I can name these also. Look at that. That's a beautiful bird. Uses his wings to whip up tornadoes, then hurls them at foes, which is really, really nice. And then here we have Grill Dragos, the final form of the Grill Din. Grill Dragos repetitively spits rapid power blasts at foes near and far. And that's always handy. Um, they are of comparable ish levels to our current party of spectrobes so if i were to desire to do so i could swap them into the party at will and they'd probably be able to uh help out quite a lot but it's time to get back to the primary adventure here which we are heading off to the temple to activate the other switch which will uh, allow for whatever's in the middle to be activated for us. Now, I think I remember exactly what it is that does. But I'm not going to say because I'd rather show it off. For now, we have a fair bit of running to do. come up here and I have already failed you all playing on the wrong screen <laughs> uh, leave it to me to
have it go exactly like that. Oh, no. I even saw it come. All right. <clears throat> Here we are. We're gonna go this way. All right. And then we have to find the switch here too. And if I recall, this place can get crazy with crawl. Um, yeah, we're just gonna... As much as I would like to do some of these battles, I've gotta be careful because we don't have an easy way out. Juice and Nyquil, so I'm gonna be in coma soon. Alright, no worries. You get that rest. No, I think it's right here. There it is, yes. There's a switch here. Press it? Of course I'm going to press it. Rowan, push the switch. <clears throat> Rowling, I've got it! What did he figure out? It's just like I thought. This isn't just an icy planet. There's some kind of mechanical system deep inside. What's more, well, the planet itself. What about it? It isn't a natural planet. I think it's man-made. Someone created it out of ice. What? Who? I don't know. Keep looking around out there. You might find some answers. Understood. But what kind of system could be buried deep inside a planet? The planet itself is... Me. <laughs> uh, Arch. Interesting theory you got there. Yeah, I've got no easy way out of here. I can't just jetpack it. I do kind of want to add some of those uh, spectrums I just got from the cards to the party, but also at the same time I kind of feel like that might not be, like, the most fair move. I don't know. Yeah, they, they just busted Roland for health. Um, I'm not sure hanging out here is the smart move anymore. Sick makes me sleepy. Same. Go all out for get fairness. See, here's the thing. This is a let's play, so it's meant to be uh, played in a manner that other people can do as well. And, well, granted, you can get the card codes off of game FAQs. Um, not, not everybody has access to the cards. H hence the, 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 the fairness thing. I, I want to make sure that I play this entirely in a way that people can follow along with. Show off the spectrums for those who might want them. Oh, shh. That is true. I mean, showing off spectrobes is kind of part of what I do here. And I haven't shown off enough of them. Uh, I will be showcasing a lot more spectrobes in the next game. 
actually throughout the rest of the series. Um, now we backtrack. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it'd be nice to have Dr Girl Dragos back on the team. go now chatty brought me my all right well rest well my friend rest well and i wish you a speedy the speediest of recoveries oh a door the door here has opened oh maybe i should have hit the ship first this might be a bad idea let's find out There's something up here, that's for sure. Alright. Whoa, what is this? Eugenia. Roland, did you find something? As a matter of fact, I did. It looks like a hologram that shows both Himuro and Mado. There's also a control panel of some sort here. Is it operational? I can give it a try. No, no, Gina, get, get your ass down here to do this. Roland's gonna mess it up. Hey, what was that? Oh no. Roland, whatever you just did, do it again, and do it quick. Roger. How's that? I got it! I got it! That panel controls the orbit of Himuro. What? You mean we can actually change it? The ancients must have crafted this planet out of ice to use it as a lens. Against what, though? If we use it properly, we can bathe Planet Mado in a powerful burst of sunlight. Give it a try, Roland. <laughs> this is a bad plan. Okay. Control panel on the planet Himuro. Operate the control panel? Of course. Um... <sighs> How does this... Oh. That's not the orbit I just controlled. Just, just saying. Roland, I think you've done it. Himuro is gathering the sun's rays and focusing them on Tomato. The black vortexes are parting to move away from the light. We have a clear path through. Great. Let's set a course for Mato quickly before this thing shuts down. We'll be waiting for you back here at the ship. See you there. All right. Huh? What is it? I found something that looks like a cube, but not exactly. I think it's something different. Oh. Bring it back to the ship. We can ask Aldis to check it for us. Roger that. Oh. Oh. If this is what I think it is. It's the relic crystal. Okay. I might know what this is. All right, let's get out of here. There, there were no crawl in this area, luckily. How fortuitous! Oh yeah! Now to get back to the, there's an easy way back to the ship. Back to the ship. New. I don't know why I just numed. Alright. What do you think? I believe this is the Relic Crystal. It's an extraordinary gem. Well, no shit. It told us it's the Relic Crystal. It contains information about methods for summoning the ultimate form spectrobes. The ultimate form of a spectrobe is the final stage of its evolution. Okay. However, you cannot obtain the ultimate form by simply training an evolved spectrobe. The key to the ultimate form is a dynamic and powerful one that lies sealed in a gem called a geo. 
a geo? Where am I supposed to find one of those? Wait, there's more text inscribed here. It says that the geo with the power to call forth the ultimate form is called the Flame Geo. It slumbers deep in a red spring atop the highest mountain of the innermost planet. You have to take this relic crystal to that spring to obtain the powers locked within the Flame Geo. A red spring atop the highest mountain of the innermost planet in the star system. I've got it. Yeah, we're, we're going to Daichi, right? Or Genshi. I keep getting those two mixed up. It must mean the lava flows on the first planet, Genshi. That's exactly what it said. Then we must go there now. It may well be the only way to obtain the power of the ultimate form. But what about Mado? The Kroll Swarm is here. It's right in front of us. This is true. But the ultimate form will surely prove to be a necessary asset in battle against this army. He's right. Either go to Mado or head for Genji. It's up to you, Rollin. I'll go along with whatever you decide. Same goes for me, Rollin. You make the call. I have placed the data from the Relic Crystal in my escape capsule. I will leave the gem itself with you for safekeeping. Understood. So... There's a little bit of misinformation there. The uh, Spectrobes do not get to, uh, ever evolve into a ultimate form. Uh, that's just not the way it works. Um, this ultimate form can be treated with the s a similar regard, I would say, to legendary Pokemon. Except that you cannot control them. You, did, you do not exactly own them. They're, like... How to put this most simply? Um... They're, like... They're, like, a temporary summon. Uh, in one of the Final Fantasy games or some... Or, or something along those lines. There are summon that you can use, and then they leave. Uh, very, very similar to how the summons work in Final Fantasy VIII. Genshi Area 2. This will be where it's at. There we are. If the Geo is at the bottom of a red spring, it must be somewhere in the lava flows. The lava flows? How the heck am I going to find anything in there? Well, the Relic Crystal tells its... <clears throat> The Relic Crystal tells its holder to take it to the spring to unlock the power of the Flame Geo. Perhaps this means that the Relic Crystal itself is the very key to finding the Geo. That could very well be. I'll carry it with me and explore a bit. Yes, that is what we shall do. might be new fossils here. That's a dongo pod. We don't need that right now. It's not to say that won't be handy in the future or anything. But there should be... Nagipod, I don't know if we have one of those yet. So I'm gonna dig it up. Alright, come on. There's a second antenna here. Or whatever that's meant to be. One of the ones I always get excited to see probably isn't going to show up until the next game. 
And that's the Mossapod? Oh hey, and I still got a custom part out of it. Cool. What's the other fossil? Harupod. I also don't know if we have one of these. But I don't think we do. In fact, I'm fairly certain we don't. This is going to awaken to be a real cutie, too. Harupod, no custom part, but that's fine. That's to be expected, a lot of these. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can't get our hands on this Geo. Um, no thank you. Ah, there we are. I was gonna say, if it's a dead end, I believe this is just a good digging point. Okay. Definitely onto something here. Huh? The relic crystal is glowing. The lava flows are stopping? I wonder if the relic crystal is causing this. The ultimate form must be incredibly powerful if it requires this kind of protection. The power of the relic crystal has stopped the flow of the lava, creating an open path. I mean... They didn't want me to come down this far, though. Okay. Like, that's not the way I'm meant to go. I'm just meant to cross. Oh no! They got me! Alright, alright, what do we got here? Two Volzeppis and a whole nuke. Um, this is not... Yeah, this isn't ideal. We're, we're out. I'm not even worried about, you know, whether or not they're stronger than me. It's the projectile attacks. I just don't want to deal with them at this moment. Um... It would just be very unwise to do so. Okay. This looks like a great hiding place for something such as, you know, an ultimate Spectro. The Relic Crystal's doing its thing again. Light spirals forth, and this time... Open path. This time, I think I am meant to, uh... down this way. Oh my word. word. Crawl on the lava. More light? Why can't it disband the crawl? Or disperse the crawl too? Okay. I get the feeling it's supposed to be here somewhere. Let's see what these fossils are. That's a spit pod, we don't need it. We just got a Haru as much as I could use another one. Not yet. Not right now. This isn't the time gonna be in here then, yeah? It would be, I would assume, dressed like a cube. That's a spit pod. It does get to a point where you can, uh, you can identify these just by, just by a glance. If you play enough. Okay, so this was not it. This was just a detour. Wait, but why would it have been? 
something's not adding up. Something is certainly not adding up here. I'll take those. Why would it send me this way if it's not here? So it should be here. Unless I'm absolutely missing something. Yeah, this is an A+. I have not unearthed one of these yet, so it's not safe to use my, uh, my special tool. The mineral tool. Alright, there's an A-plus for health. That's good to have. I'm very clearly missing something. Most clearly. Considering that's a thing that just happened. How much do I trust about... Ah, here we are. About the path I'm guided down. Okay, okay. Good start. Cut off all the lava going into it. This is what we've been doing. Now I just need to stop the rest of the flow. And there we are. That should do it. Awesome. And there it is, just chilling. There's a mysterious object with a redstone embedded in it. Do you want to take it? Yes, of course I do. Of course I do. Rollin got the flame, Geo. An ultimate form spectrum can only be called forth once in any given battle. So only once per battle. First, charge three bars of the charge gauge and then press the Y button to access Geo commands. Press the X button to activate the Geo and then you can summon the ultimate form Spectrobe. How's it going? Did you find? How's it going? Did you find it? Yeah, I've got the flame Geo right here. Hurry back to the ship. We've got to get back to Mado. Roger that. I'm ready to do away with that swarm once and for all. So the obvious answer now is to jetpack back, which we are going to do, um, and that seems like as good a place as we're going to get to end off today's episode.
I want to thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, please be sure to slay that like button. That tells the YouTube algorithm that more people need to see this video, and as such, it'll push it out as recommended to more people. It helps out the channel immensely and only takes a moment of your time. Then, while you're there, if you've not already done so, consider subscribing to the channel or ring that bell for notifications so you can be among the first to know when a new episode goes live. And then check the links in the description below for all the cool things that I do, and that includes the Twitch channel where this series is being recorded live. Then, if you feel so inclined, once you're done with all that, feel free to pop by the comments section and let me know your thoughts on this series, this uh, the, the games themselves, uh, what your favorite Spectro might be, if there are any whose designs you're particularly fond of, or if you just want to leave a comment to support the channel and can't really think of anything to say, just say something to the effect of, wow, lava paths are misleading, or something like that. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!